Council, which were suspended in Iraq. And we have asked through the Constitutional Council, let's go back to that experiment and see if we can still work out a framework for the union. Of course, that was a polite and a more peaceful way of taking them into a discussion where we will say, well, the experience we have had for 55 years, we just cannot hang out with you people anymore. So we want our full independence. And I think across the board, both in the diaspora and back from the ground where I am coming, the heart of South Africa is that the United Nations must come back. We plan to sue the United Kingdom government for having abandoned us so that they should go back here with the United Nations and complete their assignment. There was never the ceremonial of the lowering of the UN flag and the hoisting of the Southern Cameroon flag for us to accede to independence and discuss at par with the Republic of Cameroon. So we want them to go back and correct that error. And the more they delay, they are giving room for the execution of the world planned genocide. And this is exactly what we are standing against. And the Cameroon establishment is in a bloody, I mean, a, 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 what would I call it? Um, an occultic partnership with the French establishment and the British establishment yes. to make sure that they subjugate us and the French-speaking Cameroonians. As Pan-Africanists, we sympathize with French-speaking Cameroonians who have been brainwashed. But we need to liberate ourselves. When there's fire in the village, you put off the fire on your roof before you go to the neighborhood. So we want to liberate ourselves and give support to the French-speaking Cameroonians to also be liberated. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you.